Well, Jason uh, returned to Heineken Cup action this weekend and probably the toughest test in European rugby at the moment. Uh, Claremont away, what's your thoughts ahead of it all? I'm exciting, you know, you, you don't get too many opportunities to go to a place like Clermont and feel, you know, feel the atmosphere and, I, and I've heard it's unreal and you know, it's something that we can go and enjoy and uh, look forward to. As players though, this is the sort of challenge you relish, isn't it? Exactly, you know, we've been stepping up sort of the last few years and like you say, there's probably no greater challenge at the moment, um, at the moment in Europe, so it's another, it's another chance to try and prove ourselves in, in this competition. What did you learn as a group of players from the game against them here back in uh, earlier in the season? It, it was a tough game, you were in it for 45 minutes and then all of a sudden they, they hit another gear. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, like you say, we were in it for like 50, 60 minutes and obviously they, they stepped up a level, but um, you know, we just got to play for 80 minutes and, we, and we've got to try and put some pressure on them. We've got to try and score some points early and hopefully create a little bit of doubt. But obviously it's very tough when they're such a great team, but you know, that's what you got to do. You talk about tough environments. The Premiership's been pretty tough the last three weeks, uh, but it's really small margins, isn't it, at the end of the day? Exactly. You know, we, we don't feel we're too far away at the moment and, you know, we're still playing some good rugby, but... Like I say, uh, Clermont won't give us too many opportunities, so if we, can, if we can take the one or two they give us, we might, we might put them under some pressure. For someone who's played Super Rugby, where does the Heineken Cup rank in, uh, in terms of level, the competition itself? Yeah, it's right up there. Obviously, we've had a, a really tough pool this year and some class international players all through the team, so um, <laughs> it's right up, right up amongst the best, that's for sure. In terms of learning, though, you, as players, you're always learning, but I'd imagine in these environments, you, you, you really get to to find out more about yourself as players, as a team, everything really. Yeah, exactly, you know, and it's sort of, as a player you relish these opportunities, you know, and test yourself against the best players in the world, which, 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 you know, a lot of them are, so, you know, it's a massive challenge for the Chiefs, but it's one, like I said, we're relishing and uh, hopefully we can have a bit of fun over there. I think it's over 50 games they've won at home and on the bounce now. How will the Chiefs go about beating them, Shuey? <laughs> um, we're just going to play our normal game, you know, and, and get stuck in. And like I say, we've got to start taking some of those opportunities that we've created, especially in the last few weeks we've, we've created but haven't finished off. So I think that's the only way. A mood in the camp looks really buoyant going over to France and that uh, you must be excited to, as players. Yeah, exactly. Um, looking forward to the atmosphere, looking forward to getting, out, getting away from England for a while and going to France and yeah, just enjoying, enjoying this situation we're in. What have you made of playing French teams in the past though? Because uh, they're, they're different to English sides, aren't they? You've, you've obviously gone to Perpignan, Montpellier, Bourguin, just, for, just a few of the sides. Yeah, they're very flamboyant, you know, and if, if they get their tails up, they'll, they'll take you apart. So you've got to put the pressure on them, like I said, and, and try and create the pressure in their own heads. And sometimes if, if you do that, you can get a good result. Thanks, Jules.